everyone got to know, no?
regular CDF for your progress. Ganun po. Ganun po. And we started, we were supposed to take up a lot of reform. They did not continue. Congressman Barakel objected. Obviously, after some delay, we lost it, so they continued. And you would feel that battering ram, like a railroad, you would feel the pressure that let's do this, let's do this. They, they were ramming it against us, uh, they were ramming it on us. And true enough, after, imagine this is changing the constitution, uh, after four misty hours of debate, of interpretation, suddenly somebody stands up and I move. Let me close the debate and going to vote in. Just four hours. Uh, like Roy Gomez said, para nanong ka na ng sige, na nanong ka yung sese. And yet they closed the debate and got the call to go to him. Terrible, sickening, disheartening. You know, the Glory Administration has been in power for nine years. Next year, ten years na yan, President Marcos, has been in power, was in power for 20 years. So come 2010, one half na si Gloria Arroyo. Sabi ni Benji, kanina yung 150th anniversary team ng Ateneo is building the nation. Building the nation. Like I said to my colleagues, the Royal Administration has succeeded in destroying so many institutions of government. Take the Comelec, don't you remember the Hello Garci scandal, the ZEE scandal? Take the military, which has been used time and time again for cheating, for example, in the 2004 elections. I cannot forget what General Gudani said if you don't remember the Senate, sabi ni Gudani, at the height of the voting, uh, at the height of the counting of votes in Lanao, when I was in charge, I was suddenly ordered to go to Manila. I was wondering why this is the heart of the, uh, heart of the counting, height of the counting. I was ordered to go to Manila, magdating sa Manila. Sabi sa kanya ng kanyang superior, magbulf ka muna ang dalawang ko. The Ombudsman, which has been used instead of catching account, uh, enhancing accountability of public officers, the Ombudsman has been used to hide the criminal culpability of her allies for crimes against the people, like Jok Jok Kulate, who ironically is now there in Capis or Aklan or wherever he comes from, and is campaigning for governor. Wow. So those are just some civil service, for example. Forty percent of our civil service of our government appointees are not civil service eligible. And it seems that the only criteria is blind loyalty to Glory Makapagalaroy. So there is a pattern of destruction of the institution, the faith of people in the institutions of government and society. And now, finally, our very democracy is being threatened. The very institution of the republican system of government is being threatened. I hope, I hope all of us take action. So, pagkat marami nga rin sa sabi, parang walang nangyayari ah. But it has happened, so people are still still analyzing what will happen. Uh, 